Welcome, one and all, to... Well, this is... God damn it. What the fuck is this thing called again? Uh, steam, steam, steam. Star Conflict! <laughs> Welcome to Star Conflict! So, I downloaded this game yesterday, and I talked about it in my previous War Thunder video, and so I was looking forward to playing it. When I started up, what I was not expecting was... Gaijin Entertainment. That's right. This is brought to us by the same people who did War Thunder. It is a space combat simulator. Kind of like free, free space, except uh, less complex. But actually, I'm on key binding settings. Okay, so s key bindings don't seem to be as ridiculous the amount of options that you have in, uh, in War Thunder. But it's a pretty fun game. I played a few rounds, did a tutorial. I did a previous recording, but one, I forgot to check my microphone's volume. Two, I forgot to lower this game's volume, so you could not hear me talk at all. But yeah, so I played literally two games, and I took a break. I went and picked up Sony Vegas. So in the future, I can correct those mistakes of using Window Media Maker. I, uh, you know, I used a free trial of it, really liked it, ran out of time, used Windows Movie Maker for like the past three videos, which made me sad. But hey, so, what is this game? This game is, well, an objective-based Starflight game, where you get spaceships with different roles and you have different battles. The only battle I've seen so far is Detonation, where you have to uh, use an EMP bomb on the enemy's three towers. So, uh, someone has to pick up the bomb, you have to escort them to a tower, and then they detonate. And it's pretty straightforward. That is so far the only game mode I have seen. Uh, this game popped up on Steam just yesterday, and I'm actually surprised, I was really shocked when I saw it was Gaijin, because I don't know if this game had been in development before War Thunder, but certainly popped up on Steam sooner. But hey, as you all know, War Thunder has been greenlit. So, there are three factions. There are the Empire... The something and the something. I doesn't okay. Empire. What is? It doesn't let me see the names. Oh, I forgot to check it up here. I'm stupid. Empire. Uh, no, I can't. Huh. Well, there's the empire, and then there's two others. So, yeah, different weapon types, different ship types. Here are your standard trees. You've got your standard premiums. You've got the different things. So far, I see fighters. Frigates and interceptors. These the different roles as well. So the fighters all seem to be calculate or you've got ones. Wow, you got tacklers and fighters. Okay, tacklers, offense, offense. Uh, you know, you got the supports, the protection. You got different support roles, and you've got ECM saboteur. And I know you've got more. I know there's a tackle role up here somewhere, but. Each ship has different roles. I, you know, barely played, so I can't really tell you all that much. I really, I plan to play more because this game is really cool. So, yeah. But yeah, um, not too much information, I guess. Uh, you've got your equipment where you can check your ship loadouts, your weapon, your special ability. Every abil every ship has different special abilities. Like you've got the micro warp drive, you've got the overdrive, which is like increased fire rate. Micro warp is like increased speed. Um, this is disintegrator, which is basically a long range disintegration range. It really does a crap ton of damage. So, but you're basically stationary while you're using it. Which is like kind of cool. You got your missiles. You can change these out. I think later ships you can get different types of missiles. You got different guns. You've got lasers, which are like I'll explain the weapons more. You've got your plasma cannons and you've got your rail guns. I'm not really quite too sure what the big difference between plasma cannons and rail guns are. Maybe it's RPM. Fire. That's actually less rounds per minute on the rail gun. Projectile speed maybe more. Projectile speed is definitely more. What are ranges? Range, ah, 1700, okay. Okay, plasma cannons have shorter range. And slower projectile speed, but I think their spread is also lower. Okay. Well, you know, we've got different modules you can use, like spy drones, uh, adaptive armor, interception, flares. Flares would be really useful. Uh, I was actually talking about it. I was like, I hope you can get flares at some point in this game to help you with missiles. Ion beams. 
Oh, all kind of fun stuff. I think there's more. Yeah, there's different ones for different ships, apparently, too. Or less for some and more for others. Target banners, sweet. But yeah, I've been playing around, having a lot of fun. Uh, I would recommend doing the tutorial. You get black market tokens, which are essentially golden eagles. And you, so you get like some free ones. You got skill and plants. I haven't really done anything with this. You do not have a crew to train up, from what I can tell. I have not seen anything involving the crew. Got your statistics, warehouse, skills, ships, equipment, hangar. Yeah, I see nothing to do with uh, synergy level. Okay, that may essentially be the crew. You've got your auto, auto repair, insurance. Warranty allows you to fully repair your current ship. Oh, okay. So these charge up over time. Stickers, stickers with decals. I don't see any, I haven't seen anything for uh, like choosing crew skills or synergy things. Uh, we'll have to see that in the future. Oh. Legion, Warden, Armada, Vanguard, Raid, Hex. Sign contract. Sign contract means you're terminating a long-term contract with the current faction. If you have one, you may pay a penalty if you do. Ooh, this is interesting. Huh, well, we can learn this together, I guess. Or you guys can inform me on what the fuck these mean. You've got your different modes. You've got arcade, regular scenarios, practice with players, and practice solo flight. I'm just, of course, flying arcade. So without further ado, let's hop into this. This is on Steam, as I've stated, so match queues aren't too terribly long. Only 3,000 something pilots online, pods on missions, pods where they take off, sectors discovered. I assume that means, like, how many battles are in place. This made wait time one minute. Oh, in battle, so never mind, that was way less than one minute. Cool, cool, cool. Let's bring the pain and bring the motherfucking rain. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start this off in a frigate because I feel like kind of demonstrating. So yeah, this is your detonation, objective plant, EMP bomb, the destroy enemy station. But I, I feel like showing off the support role with the end of the disintegrator ray, which is basically artillery or basically a sniper, if you want to call it that. Sit back, you take long range shots. I believe the special module range is said it's like max ranges or optimal range. Or maybe what was the max range? is around 12,000 meters. Got lasers, which are an on-point weapon, which means there's no leading targets, but they have a, a relatively short range, from what I can tell. Okay, let's, uh, let's get set up here and see if I can find any targets. So, as you can see, disintegrator mode. There's the bomb's location right there. It's 10,000 meters out, so... This guy's tank is in the way. Miss. Maybe that hit. So like, actually, maybe that hit. You go to your standard leader rifle, um, I definitely hit. I feel like being lazy as shit and sitting way far back. It's too far out. Yeah, you can see the amount of damage it does. Not a super amount, but it does a decent amount. Oh, we got a person with the bomb, so that is now my primary target. We do not want that guy getting anywhere near us. Anywhere near our, uh... It seems pretty instantaneous on hits, by the way, for the, uh... I mean, you have a lead, but... The thing's super ridiculous. That was a hit. There is no hit confirmation, by the way. You only have, You can tell from the amount of damage you do if you actually hit him. Also, I apologize if I overanalyze this. I haven't played this too much, so I'm probably going to overanalyze it more than I would something else. Oh, shit. I'm gonna be a little more aggressive. Why? Because I really feel like it. 
As much, as much fun sniping as this can be really fun, too. Actually, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna play cover for this guy. 17 rounds a minute. Uh, maybe you aren't stationary. It's just really hard to tell through your moving. I don't think you really do, though. That is gonna miss. I'm pretty sure that guy's behind that boulder. Behind that. Yeah, that's, he's out of sight. Well, I think I'm gonna do firing rounds down there because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just stupid. Either way, man. Either way. That guy's out of range to begin with. Okay. Switching positions. I'm moving up. Apparently, they've gotten our. Uh, Okay, these are definitely hitting harder. Maybe I just was missing like fucking crazy before. This is what, this is what the captain. I think I just missed every damn shot I took. That's a miss. Enemy ship destroyed. These are ridiculous. These are a lot of ridiculous. I apologize. I'm having fun playing a long range thing for once instead of a dogfighter, which is really strange for me. Very much dogfighter normally. These leads only really at work depending on if they turn or not. Turning in this game is much more sudden than it is in uh, planes. Although you'll definitely th see things like interceptors turn way faster. Guy's definitely behind something. Disintegrator rays hit way too hard for the lack of travel time, I feel. I feel they hit way too bloody hard. You can hit tab to pull up your map and kind of see where things are. See where you are. I'm going to reposition. I think I'm going to reposition low and fire high and maybe have less boulders in the way or maybe more. We'll see. Got rockets all over the thing, so you can like yeah control turns. New MP bomb detected. Okay, so there are multiple up. Oh, yeah, there are multiple up, and that guy's right behind us. Oh shit! Okay, there is no time to waste here. Just get the golden sky to pieces. GTFO man, GTFO. Lock on time, boom. More the merrier. Okay, still that one EMP bomb over in the center. Whatever the hell that is. I, I believe we are stationary when we fought when we are in this fire mode. Because I was holding space to go up and it did not go up, so I assume we were stationary. Based entirely off well, the fact that I'm not moving right now and holding space.
fucking losses. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, another thing is infinite respawns, it seems. It seems if you, uh... It seems to me if you have the ability to, uh... Like... Unlike War... War... Ah, uh, War Thunder. Running out of planes does not mean you have to leave. You can spawn the same vehicle multiple times. Or the same ship, in this case. So, we have... Taking out two of their three bases, and, well, I haven't done much help with that. I've been, you know, sniping. Which is, you know, kind of lame, but, eh, three kills, I guess. Okay, someone just shot me. At least, I feel like they shot me. I guess they didn't. What do I feel like I got shot there? Something hit me, and I just assumed I got shot. I don't think I can actually hit this guy. I'll try. Maybe I can. Yeah, I can. Enemy ship destroyed. Seventh kill, killjoy! Oh sweet, kill streaks! Activate the kill streaks, motherfuckers! Uh, the tropes of bad shooters, or every triple A title. Killjoy! Killionaire! I'm not saying all AAA shooters are bad, but the, just like the standard tropes of a shooter is pretty funny. Enemy ship destroyed. Job, hmm. So guys, as you can see, I'm uh sniping. Fourteen hundred now. And victory, all enemy stations loaded, sector captor, sector captured. And after this, you get to uh, search for loot. Object plasma core. No loot found. Broken high grade plasma cannon. Armor booster. And I'm not sure if you actually get these things or if they just give you credits. Trophies, broken high gate, cannot be used, sold automatically. Okay. Yeah, so that's extra credits. Experience gained, credits received. Uh, three down, shoot three enemy ships down, probably the same, destroy seven, seven part of the same ship. Cool. Interrupted an opponent's killing spree, assist the destruction of four ships on the same ship, six ships on the same ship. Sort of four enemy ships while piloting a frigate, six while piloting a frigate. Bugging the holds for enemy ships while piloting a frigate. Save an ally who has less than 15% hit points left from certain death by killing its attacker. Bullseye destroy an enemy with a discernment of distance over 9,000 meters. Destroy two ships at the same enemy without losing your ship. Hello again. This time it's got. Wait. Aw. Slightly. You again and hello again, okay. Blind. It's basically this plus, plus one. Yeah, that. You've got your efficiency, which I just assume is just through points. You got your scales, you got your sis, you've got your cap. So, who the captain in this game? I'm supposed to say, who the hell do I owe this win to? Who do I owe this win to? Three, four, and you can't go those. Two hanger! So, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty simplistic, pretty fun. I, I like it. Um, rank two, I assume that means I'll actually be able to, no I cannot, okay, rank three, okay, so levels I believe may just be for, uh, synergy level two elf two, so that is maxed, don't even know what the hell it even does still. Okay, um, you got more ships available at tier three, no, it's shocking, not all. Looks like they plan to get up to tier 15, but there's only up to tier 12 in the game. In the game currently. I'm trying to find out what the hell the uh, point of this is. Sonic Contract Effect means turning along to the contract the current faction. If you have one, you must pay a penalty if you do. So these are ranks.
I'm going to take a uh, Legion signed contract. What kind of are you going to take this? Yeah, sure. Okay, these give you reputation, they give you extra credits. And I assume. I'm going to sign this already 20 ships. I assume we'll get more things the more ranks we get in our, uh... Okay! Well... On the battle... Actually, no, no, not on the battle, not on the battle. Cancel, cancel, cancel! Um, I actually want to try something with the, uh, ship equipment. So, I'm running with the standard laser. Tech 1 laser, range 2,500 meters optimal. Per chance, what's the difference between Damage. This is actually not, you know, I'm gonna talk about something I don't like right now. You can legitimately buy power in this game in a way I really don't like. You can spend a certain amount of credits to unlock the best laser available. Let's check out these stats here, between this and this. Just look at the DPS. The DPS is ridiculous. That's a big difference. And But it appears as if you can get it with this standard, with standard non-premium currency, but it requires a lot and requires a specific rank with a specific faction. Like, okay, this requires rank three of the Warden's faction. Okay, that makes contracts make more sense. So I'd have to be a Warden, I'd have to be rank three to get that. So, you can legitimately buy power in a way that I do not like. You can do that for all the different types of guns. And it... It kind of bugs me. It kind of pisses me the fuck off. Well, maybe not piss me off, but it's, it's appalling. You can do it with missiles, too. So you're gonna basically, if you want to not spend money on this, you're gonna have to, uh, essentially go out of your, to get the best stuff, you're gonna have to go out of your way to go all, through all the different factions. Uh, ship fitting. Frigate maintenance, repairs your ship. Oh, repair ship hull, that's really nice. The armor hull resistance is increased by 60 for 8 seconds. Shield booster, increase your shield. Flares... The flux guy missile is probably 100%. 13 seconds, okay. And the big difference between these, that's a big difference. That's cooldown differences. So I'm going to buy that and equip that. And on this other one, I think I'm going to get myself some... Wait, what's the difference in the hull repair? That's a big difference in cooldown again. That's... Um, top, top, one, 360 seconds... For the miners repair to seven one hundred seventy two point five seconds for the highest repair. It kinda bugs me. I will take this, however, and equip this. And that cost me some decent amount of credits. Well cool, cool. storage space. Increase storage space capacity, so you've got a limited amount you can store as well. Is that, is that, again, that is, that is across all your ships. So if there's anything you're not using, you may want to remove it. Now, I think I'm going to... It's Achilles targeting the computer. Main open damage by 33% for 10 set ion beam. Brands targets from using active modules and shooting launching rockets for 4 seconds. I'm going to take the flares for now. I'm gonna equip that. I'm actually not gonna bother on that thing because that thing's pretty crummy. I'm gonna up this. What's the difference? Eh, I'll be fine on the lowest end one. I, I don't really mind right now. Unguided missiles, sweet. And I will be playing the uh, next battle in probably my uh, interceptor to give you guys a different flavor than me just sitting back sniping. It just seems like good. Uh, I'm saying a lot. Something! Good something. For God's sakes, man. It's good something.
Oh my gosh. You know what? Uh, the fact that this is on Steam is pretty appalling, actually, because I have a feeling it may bring a certain obnoxious... Look how important anger... Domination! Collect enough sector control points or destroy all enemy ships. Okay, this is not an infinite respawn one, I guess. I guess this is this. I've never done this battle mode. Domination. So, control points or kill enemy ships. So, this is a standard, uh, what's the game mode? Control point. This is a standard control point match. Yeah, I'm going to take it this way. Run my plasma cannons. Holy! Well, I guess it is an infinite respawn. But, uh... Hey guys, warp drive! <laughs> oh, that was great. That was so very great. I am laughing at that. I so very much disapprove. Okay, so... Get off me, buddy. Another thing I actually mentioned in my video that's not going to be going up is your lasers go where your pointer is, not where the front of your ship is. However, so that threw me off at first. Okay, where are these capture points? Oh my god. Beacon is somewhere. Hmm. Well. Oh. Fucking forget. That's what I should do on these interceptors. I think I may, uh... I think I'll leave fighters and supports to capture points, and I think I will actually use the speed of these frigates, or not frigates, these interceptors, to push up on the frigates. And screw with them while they're, uh, busy sniping. I don't know, it just seems like a good way to abuse the speed. I will say you do seem to have limited missiles, like if you fire missiles, you're not getting those missiles back when you respawn the ship. You have to wait till after the battle. Oh, well, that was steam. Our beacon has been captured. Okay, where's the hell beacon? Beacon B. So how does capturing in this game work? Destroyed. Okay! You can ram people in warp drive. That's not where I wanted to warp to. Information, however, was acquired, and, uh, for all you people who love kamikaze people on purpose, there you go. Be a dick. I'll try not to do that on purpose. I really don't like flying like that. I absolutely hate dying. Uh, that was fun.
Okay, so you really have to abuse your maneuverability in this thing. Okay. I probably would kill that thing if I was, you know, not cheap and upgraded my lasers. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take out my Hercules, my class one fighter. It's synergy levels whatever right now. The special is the overdrive, which is standard, just increased rate of fire. I've got fighter shield booster, increased shield strength for eight seconds. Each second, each second for each second, eight seconds. Holy God, That's a lot of shields. What are these up here? Okay. Should probably also focus on the objectives of the map, seeing as how there are objectives. However, there is Frostwing over here, and I do have a bit of a vendetta. Beacon. Oh, Roger Dodger on going to help Sea Beacon. No, you don't! Get away from Sea Beacon, you fucker. I am using the rail guns on this, which have higher bullet velocity but higher spread as well, apparently. Hey guys, stealth! There are stealth modules in the game. That is awesome. So, as per normal, it seems that getting a kill, of course, gives more points than assists. It's 80 for an assist, 100 for a kill. It's not too big of a difference. Okay, somebody hit me with something. Stubbing. I assume it would be a quote unquote tackle. Oh my god, that fire rate increases. Nuts. Okay, so for straight up assaulting and hurting people, this, this thing's gonna fucking bring the pain to that. Ability. I approve. Work. And that is GG. So I'm gonna go over the scores and I'll end this video for now and well be expecting more of these over the uh, week. When I'm out of town, I'm gonna probably play playing a lot of this and get a lot of recording done. I'll try I'll try to throw other stuff in there. I've got some other games I picked up, like I picked up Mark and Ninja on Steam since it was on sale, and I expect to, uh, there's a medal for suiciding. Great. You can't hide pull enemy out of invisibility mode. Sweet. Um. But yeah, there is a in fact, I was the number top player on the team again. The fuck? I, I capped only once, I guess. Or maybe half twice. Um. But yeah. I, I, I don't plan on playing that and starting that playthrough up until I get back from vacation. Because I don't want to like come back to a game that like halfway through and I you know bleh I guess so yeah peace out for now I will probably uh bring it back in when I'm at rank three so sayonara peace out I'll be the same hasta la vista au revoir uh, con bon wait. That's kind of unlock. I don't think it's goodbye, is it? I don't think it is. What's come on Huh. I'm gonna check that up and I'm probably gonna put it in my description and be like, hey guys!